One great tool that you and I can use to help assess our understanding regarding a topic or technology is to use practice exams. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use those tools right here in the interface at CBT Nuggets. Let's begin. One of the things that I absolutely love about CBT Nuggets is that many of the courses have associated with them practice exams. For example, let's say that you and I are going through CompTIA Security Plus. And as we go through the content, one of the questions might be, how well do we really understand this information? And one of the tools that we can use to help identify our readiness are the practice exams. And they are included for many of our videos. In this case, there's two practice exams for the CompTIA Security Plus. Now, to actually use these tools, it couldn't be easier. Right here from the CBT Nuggets page, you simply click on the link, and that opens up a new window with that practice exam for you. Now check this out, it gets even better. There's three areas, I'll label them one, two, and three. In area one, it allows you and I to customize our testing experience. For example, let's say we only wanna see certain questions on cryptography or network security and so forth. We can actually tell it in area one exactly what we wanna be tested on. The other cool thing about area one is that it gives us the ability to use training wheels. Every time we go to a question, if we want to, we can have it show us the answer and grade it right there so we don't have to wait till the end of the exam to see how we're doing on a specific question. So area number one here is a great place to start off. Then once we feel comfortable with all the content, we can then go to area two. And in area two, it's more reflective of an actual testing environment where if you answer a question, it's not gonna give you the ability to click on a button and see the answer. I mean, a real certification exam wouldn't do that, but instead, it's gonna ask you all the questions. Once you're done with the exam, it'll give you a final grade on how you did. So area number two is a great way to help validate your knowledge before going out and taking the actual exam. And then in area three, I also love it because it is not multiple choice. It uses flashcards. And what I love about flashcards is that there's no hint at what the correct answer is. It's not a single choice from five in a list. It's simply you typing in what you think the correct answer is. And then when you type in show answer, hopefully the answer that you provided is the answer that matches what they provided. So let's take a test drive. Let's go to the optimized exam experience, area number one. And so here we can say, yeah, I want 50 randomized questions, or we could say, I would like, for example, five questions on cryptography. Or we could say, I want certain questions with a single answer or multiple answers. Or I wanna see only questions that I have incorrectly answered a certain number of times previously. So for our example, let's take five questions from the category of cryptography. And to launch this, we'll simply click on Start. And so now I've got no pressure. It's you and I watching this video. Hopefully I can get these five questions correct. Item number one says, your company hosts several public websites on its web server. Some of the sites use SSL, which is not true of this protocol. And as I read these answers, what jumps out at me is this one right here. SSL operates at the network layer. That's layer three of the OSI model. And because SSL is above TCP, which would make it at least layer five or higher, it's not gonna be layer three. So I would say if there's only one incorrect answer, I would say it's that one. Now, because we are in this training wheels section and we have some options, we could say, let's choose that answer and I want to grade this item right now. And it'll tell us specifically whether or not this is the correct answer. So it's highlighted in yellow, which is a great sign that we got it right. And it has additional details regarding SSL. So let's say we've done our practice exams with training wheels. We feel like we're comfortable. Before we go out and take the real exam, we might wanna go ahead and simulate what that real exam would feel like by using a preset exam experience. We'll click on that link and we get to choose in this example from exam A, B, or C, or a random exam here at the bottom, which is just gonna pull questions at random. We'll use that one, we'll click on start. And if you're wondering, Keith, are we gonna go through all 100 questions? The answer, <laughs> the answer is absolutely not. However, what we would do in a practice environment is go through all of these. You'll notice there's no option to grade the item right now. We can mark it for review, so we could come back to it, but there's no help as far as what the correct answers are. When we're done, we click on end exam and it will give us a score of how we did on that exam. And then the last option, area three, is our transcender flash questions. And these are fantastic. We can customize these as well. So for example, if we want 10 questions on network security, we can simply click that radio button, click on start. And now it's just gonna ask us questions. And what we do is we type our answers here below and then we click on show answer and we compare what we put in to what the system is telling us. So which layer three device allows different logical networks to communicate? And I would say that is a router. So we'll type in router. I'll click on show answer. 
And then this is really important right here. After it shows us the answer, we ourselves are going to go ahead and click on a green button for yes, I got it right, or the X red, I did not get it right. And that's important because the system is keeping track of how well you're doing on various questions. So if you ever go back and say, I want to see only questions that I've missed two or more times, if we missed this question and we told it that we missed it, it could bring it back up for us again and again. And then once we're done, so we'll grade ourselves here as far as getting it right, and we'll click on next item. What is the most common type of system used to detect intrusions on a computer network? And I would say network-based intrusion detection system or a network-based intrusion prevention system. So I'm going to go ahead and put IPS there as well. And we'll click on show answer. And he shoots, he scores. <laughs> so I would say on that one as well, we got it correct. And then we simply click on next and we go through it that way. Once we're done, we'll click on end. It'll give us a little pop-up saying, are you sure you want to quit? And because we only answered two of the questions correct out of 10, it correctly gives us 20%. And when we're done, we click on exit exam. And the benefit of the system knowing how well we're doing is that if we want to come back to area one or area three and customize it to tell it to give us questions that we've missed two or more times, because it knows the questions that we have missed, it can feed us exactly those questions. So these practice exams, which are included with many of the videos from CBT Nuggets, are a valuable asset to assess our understanding and knowledge regarding the content that we're studying. And they're available at CBT Nuggets. I have had a blast in walking you through using the practice exams. I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.